All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So the Dragon Ball Heroes collab campaign, as well as part two of the thank you celebration have both arrived on global at the same time. So in today's video, we're gonna check out everything that they have in store for us together. But before we get into it, I wanna give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Pain Shop on Twitter. They offer some nice discounts for iOS users for Dragonstone. So if you guys are interested in that, then feel free to go check them out in my description down below. Okay, so with all that said, let's jump into the news here. And uh, I guess we'll start with the thank you part two first. Okay, so Dokkan thank you celebration part two is on. Uh, let's see, login bonus, special missions, Purunga Dragon Ball campaign, Extreme Z battle, okay, and Extreme challenge campaign. Okay, so first things first, a couple of LR banners. Nothing too exciting, pretty much uh, the same as what we got on JP. And like I said in a previous video, skip all three banners. It's not worth your stones, trust me. From there, we have some special missions. Uh, we have the new Awakened Power Trial Towards New Horizons. So basically, it's kind of like the Whis event where you can clear, I think once per day, I think it's daily during the campaign. And uh, you can get these tickets, which you can exchange in the Baba Shop for some treasure chests, which contain exclusive skill orbs for the free to play Team Bardock units. And from there, we have the Super Saiyan, finally, Super Saiyan 3 Broly, the Extreme Z Battle. So he's finally getting his EZA on Global. And uh, we got the Siblings Bond category summon, skip that. Obviously, category banners are just not worth it either, just like these legendary summon banners. And uh, what else do we have here? We have, oh, of course, the Extreme Z Battle Event, Extreme Z Ticket Pack, the Pilaf's Trove Packs, and, uh, oh, this Dokkan event, of course, will be available every single day during the campaign. A couple of story events returning, Bio Broly, the uh, Wrath of the Dragon, also the uh, Legendary Super Saiyan Event. Extreme Z Area, this is new for the Kauken Goku and Tech Lord Slug. Yo! Okay, for a sec, yo, for a second, I wasn't really sure what they meant by Extreme Challenge Campaign, but now I just realized it. Now I just realized it. Okay, so LR. LR, Prime Battle Goku's Extreme Z Awakening is finally here, guys. Okay, so it seems like... Okay, so it says the 25th, right? But I don't know if that means his Extreme Z Awakening will be available on the 25th, or if like the campaign is starting where we can prep for his Extreme Z Awakening. Um, I'll have to confirm that. I'll have to confirm that. But either way, uh, it's coming soon, guys. Okay, it's on the way. And uh, of course, we need both of these guys to be full Extreme Z Awakened to challenge his Extreme Z area event, as well as the Int Raditz. Um, I forgot the other ones, to be honest. There's a bunch of them. Oh, the Cooler. Yeah, the AGL Cooler, the Int Frieza, and somebody else. I'm forgetting. Uh, there's a video out there that I made, so go check that out. But either way, yo, Prime Battle Goku! Extreme Z Awakening. That's awesome. He is insane. He is amazing. Okay, so uh, from there, it looks like everything else is just from part one of the celebration. So not much to see there, but main highlights, of course. Extreme Z Awakening for Super Saiyan 3 Broly. And uh, Extreme Z Awakening for the Prime Battle Goku which is coming soon. I'm not sure the exact date that it, oh, that it will be available, but uh, it's on the way, guys. All right, so now let's check out the Dragon Ball Hero stuff. Uh, there's the login bonus. So today we're getting two stones, a meat, as well as some Kais. And these Kais will come in clutch, okay? Because every single Dragon Ball Heroes unit needs Kais. None of them have uh, farmable super attacks. So yeah, we're gonna be burning through a lot of Kais for this banner. It is what it is, that's just how it goes, but uh, lots of Elder Kai's will be sacrificed during this campaign. And uh, the actual campaign details are here. So we got Vegito, and it says new special event, new challenge event, as well as a crossover login bonus. So there's the login bonus, we just saw that. Dragonstone sale, of course. There's the banner with Vegito and uh, Broly, and it is gonna be available at midnight on the 19th, which is Basically tonight, it's gonna be four people on the East Coast like me. It's gonna be 3 a.m. So another late night uh, stream on the way. It'll be worth it though. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna be doing both the new events as well as of course a bunch of live summons. So 
if you guys want to see that, then make sure to uh, tune in for that. And we got the Elder Kai banner. We got the Dokkan event for Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, who also, uh, I think the medals also are used to awaken the Super Saiyan 4 Broly as well. And the new story event for the Demon God Salsa free to play unit. And the new Protect History Time Patrol event, which is very similar to the legendary Goku event or Infinite Dragon Ball History. We already know what the eight bosses are. It's the Supreme Kai of Time. And then I believe uh, Xeno Trunks, Xeno Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, uh, Vajanks, uh, Gotenks, and I forgot somebody else. But one of the, the weird fusions from Heroes. So eight enemies in total and uh, should be a lot of fun. And then we have the other, the older uh, Dragon Ball Heroes story events coming back too, which makes sense. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so not the biggest campaign, not the most exciting campaign in my opinion, but the new, new units definitely get me excited. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to them because they're all awesome, especially Vegito. But I want Broly, I want Toa, I want uh, even Jabura, which I didn't think would be the case. But after seeing his super attack animation, seeing his details, He's a great unit too, and hopefully we get lucky and at least get one copy of each within like a reasonable amount of stones tonight. I'm thinking my limit will be like 500, but we'll see how the stream goes because obviously uh, things could change once we get into the summons. But uh, either way, either way, there's the Dragon Ball Heroes campaign, and is there anything else? I don't think so. Okay, so there you go guys, there you have it. Part 2 of the Thank You Celebration Dragon Ball Heroes campaign. Big things to pay attention to, of course, Super Saiyan 3 Broly Extreme Z Awakening, which is dropping on the 25th, so in a week from now. And uh, also, of course, the Heroes Banner, New Heroes Event, a New Hero Story Event, all of that stuff would be available tonight. And uh, this one, look, here's the thing. I think the 25th might be like when we can actually get access to all of the events we need to like farm the units we need for his Extreme Z area event. I don't think the Extreme Z area will be available until sometime in December though. Okay, so I could be wrong about that, but that's just my, my guess. That's my speculation. Okay, but anyways guys, that is all I gotta say. That is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are excited for all this new stuff. And as always, yo, by the way, where is, where is Killing Khalifa's Extreme Z Awakening? All right, like I'm happy we got Broly. I'm happy we got Broly, but Kale and Khalifla are way overdue, man. Like, what is up with that? Why do they refuse to give us the Saiyan girls? I don't get it. I really don't. Hopefully, it's coming for... I guess there's no part three, so... Uh, the next celebration, ideally in December. I mean, I guess it would make sense, since it is going to be the LR Blue Boys that are coming next. Like, at least 90% is going to be Blue Boys, right? And that's going to be a Tournament of Power theme celebration, obviously. So, dropping the EZAs for that would fit the theme. So, I guess, um, tentative release date for those girls, their EZAs, would be the, uh, like, mid-December or something like that. Either way, I don't really know. It's impossible to predict when certain EZAs are coming to Global now because it's just so random. So uh, just stay tuned, I guess. But uh, guys, if you can make it, if you can stay up, or if it's like a you know, different time for you guys somewhere else in the world, like it's not too late, not such a crazy time, then definitely tune into the stream. We're gonna be doing the summons. We're gonna be doing the new events. It's gonna be a good time. But as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.